Welcome back everybody to another very powerful episode of the Careful Boys. We have Steve joining us again. Very no big powerful. deal. Else is new. No We're big deal. Or else is new. I just say that as a formality. I, know. I don't actually care. We do it. Who, whoever's in this chair, we just do that because because you're 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 trying to buy time. Yeah, but more really importantly, <laughs> we know the game. More importantly, Bart has returned after a short hiatus. What's up, Bart? Hello. <laughs> <laughs> why you laugh? Why? Are you, well, he why doesn't are know. He gave me an official hello, so I give him an official hello back. Hello. Yeah. Hello. He doesn't know how to do it. Yeah, I don't know how to do it. <laughs> I wasn't caught up, uh, you know, since uh, last time. Last time we were chatting with Bart, things were like all gravy and funny and cool, and you know, it was all exciting. And the next time, I'm jumping in different. You know, Cause you're just areas. dancing around a weird subject, man. <laughs> <laughs> well put. Just say what you want to say. Well put. Dude. Make it longer, dude. Just say it. Build it up higher. The dancer can't stop moving. Just say it. You don't have. To to cut the hole at the bottom of the popcorn exactly. for the chick to jack you off, okay? You can just say, can you jack me off? We want to jack you off already, dude. Jerk it. <laughs> just whip it out. Just whip it out. Just whip it out, get to I the just, point. I just don't think 9-11 happened. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Exactly. we got the- There it is. Fucking <laughs> denier. Hot sauce, dude. Oh my god. <laughs> uh, we, haven't, we haven't seen you from your, since your dad's funeral, am I right? Yeah, he actually hasn't had a funeral. But uh, since his passing, since his passing, yeah. Since his passing. Yeah, it's been nuts. Why are you laughing, Nick? This is a fucking serious topic. This is serious. I'm not laughing at oh. that. I'm laughing at you, dude. <laughs> <laughs> you make me laugh. Wait, what are you talking about, dude? We're talking about know? serious stuff. That week that you were filming JK News, and when I was in here, did they even know that you got the news of what happened, and then you just did a whole three days of JK News? Yeah. Yeah. Um, I don't think the, the fans know, but... Pretty much what happened was um, I was planning on making a trip back to LA because we were going to shoot three days of JK News. Um, I think it was going to be, was it like Sunday, Monday, Sunday, yeah, Monday Sunday. Tuesday? It was like a, one of those weird days because that's the only time that uh, everyone's schedules fit. And um, I was going to come in like pretty much Sunday morning and I, I already had booked my flight and everything. And then on Saturday, which is literally the day before, um, I get a, a text from my mom. And then she texts me and she was like, hey, your dad just killed himself. And then I was like, what the fuck? Like, what does that mean? Like, are you like, is that Google Translate gone wrong? Or is it an exaggeration? Like, did he eat something spicy? Like, sometimes like, like, in, like, in, you know, like, it's like a, what's the word? Like an Self-preservation. Yeah. Like you say something crazy, like, oh, oh right. Like your dad went crazy. Doesn't mean he went like cuckoo. Like, <laughs> like literally, yeah. Bought, bought the watch he shouldn't have bought or something, right? right? Like some, some, some shit like that. Your dad got Taco Bell nachos. He just killed himself. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> I, know, I know what you mean. Exactly. So I was like, what the fuck? I'm like, but that's so weird. So I called my mom and then my mom's like, um, yeah, all the cops right here. Your dad passed away. Uh, to take care of a bunch of stuff. And I was like, what the fuck? Fuck. I was like, that's fucking crazy. We hang up. I'm literally like in the bed, like my hands kind of shaking because like it's just the craziest news I've ever heard. I'd never <laughs> expect anything like that. And then I'm like staring at the wall. I'm like, did that just happen or did I have a dream? Like, what's going on? I go see Gio and I'm like, hey, um, I just I just laid it out. I'm hey, like, are you busy? <laughs> no, like I don't even know how to like, I don't know how to <laughs> massage the information. I was just like, I my dad killed himself. That's it. And she's like, you need to go to your mom right now. And then so mm -hmm. packed my shit, drove straight to LA. How did you stay awake? What do you mean? It was like midday. Like oh, I thought you were in bed sleeping. No, no, no. It was like it was like uh, like three like two oh, p.m. three p.m. It's like three p.m. Dude, how did you stay awake, Bart? <laughs> <laughs> That's when Joe takes it was a nap, dude. Eight p.m. be very hard. <laughs> but um, yeah, so as I was driving, I was like, you know, when your adrenaline kind of chills a little bit, and I'm started to think, I'm like, none of this shit makes sense. I'm like, is this one of those fucking antics? that my mom's pulling, because my mom, like, ever since I've grown up, she has, like, the craziest antics where I was like, maybe this is one of those things where she's like, oh, I wonder if my son would come to me at the drop of a dime, so you know? Wild, so I'm gonna make up some crazy yeah. shit. That would be so fucking wild, wild if she made that up. Because I'm used to weird shit. I mean, this is pretty extreme, but she's, like, hit, like, around this level, mm -hmm. you know? So I'm like, oh, man, this better not be it. Because I was gonna see them anyways the next day. Like literally on Sunday, I was supposed to have a dinner with me, my mom, and my dad. Oh, so I'm driving, uh, I get a phone call, and I pick up, and they're like, hey, this is Detective whatever from LA Sheriff's Department, just wanna let you know. And I was like, oh fuck, this is real. Um, so I was like, oh fuck, this is fucking crazy. So I drove, um, when I showed up at my mom's house, 
I see my dad's car there, and that's like fucking chills again. And I see her shit. I mean, I see his shit. I see my mom. I don't know what to say. I just hug her. And um, yeah, it was just like a cra crazy news to find out that he pretty much was like, I'm a, I'm done living. Like I don't have anything else to live for or whatever. So that's pretty much like what happened. Yeah. And, and ever since then, it's just you know, there's like kind of like you know when they don't teach you anything about like taxes or buying a home or anything like like that in high school, there's like the whole other side of shit. Like when someone passes away, there's actually a lot of things you have to go through. Mm. So for example, like the body gets taken to the coroner's office and it's up to you to like go to the mortuary, arrange with the mortuary and they give you these case numbers and then they get the body over there and then you have to request death certificates mm -hmm. um, to like stop payment from my dad subscribed to OnlyFans or some shit. I have yeah. to like Damn. unsubscribe yeah, him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like you don't get charged for that. <laughs> yeah, like, shit like that. Do you think the OnlyFans model is like I don't know what I did. He canceled. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. You think the OnlyFans model is like oh man I killed another one. Fuck. Yeah, shit like that. So I'm still going through all of that stuff. Um, he's gonna get buried literally in about like a week or so, which is cool. So I feel like that is like in any spiritual or religious way, his body's at rest. Yeah. And then I just have to get like all his other paperwork and like close accounts, close credit cards, you know. So how does that stuff work if he just abruptly did it without a will or anything? And it's just like, do you just have to be like, I'm his son and this is... So good for him or good for me, actually. You know, how my dad's kind of like a fucking doomsday prepper, but not really. Yeah. <laughs> so like just to catch you guys up, my dad... Fucking like five years ago, he would he showed me that he has like eight pairs of Kirkland shoes. So he's a very like he's like it's gonna last till my death. La yeah, you told me that. I remember he's that. He's a very like um, what's the like word? Bart brain. Yeah, very <laughs> yeah. Practical. Like anticipate the end type <laughs> yeah, of guy. Yeah, yeah. Very practical. So very very Bert. When I was Bert. twenty something, he already wrote a will wow. with all this stuff. Oh wow. So and then he gave it to me. We had a meeting. I went to the notary like when I was twenty, so I remembered exactly what to do. So how many Kirkland shoes do you get? <laughs> None. I think he threw them all away. He probably fucking got old and forgot he lost them all. <laughs> <laughs> That's a very bored thing to do. <laughs> yeah, so I have I have everything that's like what's crazy is um, on his will there was fucking ten plots of land that he bought at Rolls Hills, cause like the place that you bury people, it's almost like real estate. They go up in value and stuff. So I call Rolls Hills, I'm like, hey, there's like 10 plots of land. Um, I guess if you can name them all off to me, I'll find whichever one is the closest to where my grandpa's buried. And I'm assuming that's probably what my dad would want to be as close to grandpa as possible. So they go through the computer and they go, actually nine of them have been given away to some lady. And I'm like, damn, does my mom and my dad have hoes on the side that I didn't know about? Or That's a baller move. I'm like, what the fuck? Nine? So there's only one that was available. So it's just crazy. Like, after something ends, um, there's just more questions than ever. Because then I heard a name I've never heard of before. I'm like, I don't know who the fuck that is. And then while my dad was living with me in Vegas, he was visiting some other person in Utah and I look on his phone and that person's name is under the name Little Flower. It's his oh nickname. My. Word. Uh, yeah, it was just like more and more questions. So it's like you can go down this endless rabbit hole of like... Investigating his life? Yeah, but there's like no point, you know? Because yeah. it's just like... Like even I texted my dad's... Uh, has six brothers and sisters. I, I texted his closest brother because they're the, the two youngest uh, in the family and they, they're closest in age and they grew up together. And I'm like, hey, I have like some horrible news to tell you. And then the first thing he, his brother told me was like, hey, if you have any guilt or anything like that, don't feel that. Um, we've had, I've had many talks with your dad in the last uh, two months. And your dad's a very stubborn person and he has only one perspective and he can't change his mind. So if you have any energy to apply to this, just apply it to the next generation and make sure you raise the next generation good. And I was wow. just like, that's really good advice. Yeah, yeah. Deep as fuck. And that's your dad's older brother or younger brother? Older brother. My dad's a younger. Did you guy. say, don't you fucking talk about my dad like that? <laughs> 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 no. You keep his yeah. fucking name out your mouth. <laughs> you don't ever say his name again. I don't care if he's your brother. <laughs> yeah. What you say about my pop? <laughs> Yo, shit. That's wild. Yeah, it's just crazy. It's just. It doesn't even feel real. Yeah. No. Yeah. We were just doing the yeah, the dude. Bart's dad and mom story update, 
And then now we had this fucking abrupt ass ending to it out of nowhere, which is just. And Steve was cracking Bart's dad jokes while uh, the while, whole time. While, the, while your dad was dead. The whole time. The whole time. <laughs> Dude, like I can't fucking believe you came in here and still shot JK News with us for like three days and didn't mention anything and just for everybody. I don't want to ruin the vibe. No, dude. I believe you. Yeah, for yeah. sure. <laughs> that's just, that's we know that was your intention. <laughs> <laughs> you know, you weren't trying to. You know, like that definitely doesn't you know discount the fact that I think I everyone would understand. Like, don't go, man. Just find a replacement. Yeah, seriously. Yeah. yeah. And then all he said is he didn't fucking want dancers to run the show, yeah. which is a great line. <laughs> I heard that you said that and I fucking died. He's like, I can't. Can't leave Steve hanging. I can't leave. He's like, I can't. He wasn't leave. even here for I, that week. Like, I can't have more dancers on the show than us. That's really good. Which I fucking love. I love that. It's Makes such sense. a it's Makes such a sense. petty fucking line just for comedy's sake yeah. and it not for sense. what's going it on. It says so much, especially in the heat of all that, right? It's really good. And then on top of that, you had to leave on Monday, right? Because we filmed Sunday, and then oh, Monday that was you had to crazy. go back to deal with the house stuff. That yeah, was so a nightmare. Yeah, the minute we fin, yeah, I left. Did I leave Sunday or Monday? You left Sunday, Sunday night, night, I think. Oh, Sunday night, I book a flight because I'm still in the middle of handling the whole house shit, and they finally have the time I can go sign, so I go fly in there, and then uh, so I'm just. Still dealing with my dad's passing two days ago. I'm still dealing with uh, that house signing. And <laughs> then Anthony calls me. He goes, Is this a prank? Yeah. yeah I was dude. like, What? What the fuck's going on? But then I came back, everything was cool. Okay, full context because <laughs> yeah. can't just leave me in the dust like that. We were all a part of it. Yeah, 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 yeah. I just had the cojones to actually call. My <laughs> lawn care expert was here. <laughs> yeah, all of us are here with another one of. Bart's fucking real estate people, and none of us fucking know shit to do with this guy. Yeah. <laughs> Talk about anything, and we're like, dude. We were nervous. We were just nervous. We're like, we're like maybe this is a test. Yeah, because we never had full rain. Like, well, yeah, it was just it was just me and Nick and Ryan basically. Yeah. We thought it was we thought it was a test. Yeah. Yeah, we, yeah. Were, we went to Jamba Juice, <laughs> and I was in here. Oh, is this a test? We call him. This is a test. Like, what are you talking about? Yeah, like I guess it's not a test. I mean, and it wasn't so much that he's a realtor. It's that we've never had a guest that no one knows. Oh right. Yeah. Like, there's, there's no, no like bridge. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So and this is like the first weekend that both Bart and Joe aren't here at one point. Yeah. And we're like, <laughs> and also yeah. to be fair too. We just missed you guys. We, uh, <laughs> we wanted to FaceTime be like, half of us. Hey, Thank dude, you. come on. You were you missed Bart too, bro. Yeah, I was the half to miss. You guys are assholes. You guys. What are you talking about? And I straight up just didn't fucking know because I wasn't here the day where he pulled you guys aside and oh, told yeah. you. Yeah. So that, oh, you weren't here that week. It was the group no. text. I wasn't. It, the group text set me off because like we have a host group text oh. for like stupid technical shit, which is super boring. So I mostly skip it. <laughs> um, but then <laughs> he deletes it. But uh, but Michael's like, hey, we got a, a family emergency, so we're gonna have to. Um, cancel like these Patreon posts we're gonna do, and then Ryan immediately is like, "Oh well, well uh, we we already set set out the promo, like we're ready to go." And then uh, Michael's like, "Oh well, Bart's dad died," and I was like, "What the fuck?" I was like, "What the fuck?" <laughs> Oh, yeah. And then I was just, I mean, when did Michael's humor get so dark? <laughs> yeah, I mean, and I immediately text Bart, and I'm like, "Yo, dude, I just found out, like, you know, this is fucking crazy." And then Bart says, "I haven't seen him till today," but he's like. He's like, man, yeah, it's crazy, thanks, man. But he's like, the story is so fucking crazy. I can't wait to tell you in person. And here I am. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Shit. So then I come wait, in. Wait, it's been that long? Yeah. And then I come into I come into JK and I'm fucking, you know, lighting fireworks in here. Obviously. Yeah, he's got his fucking sunglasses on. He's fucking yeah, he's fucking ready to man. roast. I'm fucking right? going ham on Joe. Ice man's back. Because yeah, me and Joe are fucking barbing about some bullshit. And then yeah, I I let I let one rip real quick. And then I was like, wait a, and then during the break, they're like Bart's dad killed himself. Okay, like, first of all, before fuck. before that even gets, he he lets one rip and he just he just makes some joke about about your dad. But no, I made a joke about J Joe's parents, and then I was like, lucky Bart's not here, because then I would have gone, you know, like that was that was okay. I didn't even say out of context, the name. in context, it doubled down. But it yeah. just made it like a very like uh, hot off the press. Yeah. Threw a joke about that particular thing. Yeah. It was a curveball. But curveball. but all of us who were more in the know of even how it went down, they're all doubled over. It was like a 9/11 joke on 9/12. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah, but then I'm crying, dude. I'm yeah. full on crying because I'm crying. laughing so hard. Yeah, and then Remember I was, well. and then but I, he didn't know. That's why. And I didn't know. And I'm thinking, you know, I'm thinking because Bart's like this story's so fucking crazy. I'm thinking the guy went to Red Lobster and choked on shrimp or something. I have no fucking. He didn't know how he yeah, went. Yeah, he didn't know yeah. the concept. Yeah. I didn't yeah. know. And like, because Bart's like, can't wait to tell you this story's crazy. And I know Bart too. Like Bart kind of, um, it like is the first person who would make the jokes. Like, yeah, probably lighten them up on his end. So I was just like, once I found out about that and the. The way that your mom found him, I was like, this is fucking real shit. Like, I had no idea. So we backed it up. We were like, hey, maybe we should cut that out. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Steve was like, hey, yeah. whose idea was that? 
Yeah. That was my idea. It was like a day later. I was like, hey, uh. I was like, yeah. I was thinking about it. I slept on it, and I think we should cut it out. <laughs> well, because to me, I'm like, man, like, because, like, you know, even just never having met your dad, but always hearing all these stories about him for so long, I, I can't imagine what, like, the audience who, like, feels like they know your dad, too. They're grieving, yeah, yeah, too. Yeah. So it's like, you know, you have to think about that, too. Yeah, because they've seen him in vlogs for, like, so many years. Yeah. 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 And the most recent uh, update video that everybody's gotten a chance to hear about this like ongoing thing as well, this whole saga, was that, um, you know, you, he basically uh, moved in with your mom and then got kicked out again. So that was like all the information that was let out, yeah. you know what I mean? And it wasn't until fans started commenting on our videos hearing about the full story on your podcast Geo, and, yeah. You know, that I was like, oh, okay, yeah. now the fans do know. Yeah. So, you know, it just felt a more appropriate time for us to come together and uh, one, obviously for our, for our very, very loving and adoring fans and supportive fans to just get like, you know, our little talk about it because it, it would also be weird to like Not fully give every it. detail about the saga and then just drop off and never discuss it as if we weren't close friends. Do you feel like, yeah. like, are you are you okay? I don't know. I think I am. I feel like I am okay. Um, I mean, I was there when Gio's uh, dad passed away, and then so the way she dealt with it, I think, was very similar to me. Where it's like you're trying to, you're more focused on like, is everyone else okay? And then, like whatever um, procedures is done the correct way, so that it's like nice and buttoned up. And so Gio never really like like mourned. And who knows if it's like five years later, she just yeah. randomly breaks down one day. I don't know if that'll happen to me, but so far it's it's been okay, I guess. And I think for me, like I'm a very, um, what's the word? Like, like I, I let people, like I feel like everyone has their own decision to life and what the choices they wanna make in their life. So I'm a very like, if that's how you wanted to do it, then that's how you wanted to do it. You know, like I'm like, it's it's not on me to go oh you have to stay alive or whatever or you know just like yeah like if this is how you want to do anything like if you want to i don't know sleep at 10 or sleep at 3 or do whatever like that's you and so i don't i feel sad i'm like cuz we were the whole like whole saga started with trying to create a really cool life for my dad in Vegas post pandemic where the family didn't really see each other Finally, my dad and uh, Taika can have a really cool relationship. So it just felt like we were building momentum uh, in a certain direction for him to go, you know what? Sidetrack, I'm gonna go talk to your mom. And then, so I'm like, wait, what? <laughs> that was wild. I'm like, wow. what the fuck? Like, to even get my dad's house. So I think initially, the day of, and maybe the week of, I was actually fucking pissed at my dad. Because <laughs> yeah. I was like, motherfucker, I'm like, I'm already a busy person. When you tell me you wanted to move to Vegas, like I, I checked out like 20 homes for you, right? And then so we got you a home. And you told him not to come. Yeah, and I told you not to come. I was like, wait, I might be in the honeymoon phase. Like I might move back, who knows? So I was like, chill out. And then he's like, no, I, I really have to be with you guys. I'm like, all right, fine. If you really have to do it, then let me check out 20 homes for you. Try to find something that you like. We got everything set up for him to go, you know what? Mm, I got another thought. And he goes to do, to be with my mom. And I already told him, I don't think that's a smart move. And I'm like, you should, you approach it as if like it's probably gonna fail but if it if it um succeeds that's a miracle and i told my dad i was like we actually like the la the last day before we moved out of that house i had a heart to heart with my pops and i told him i was like logically moving in with mom is probably like, the stupidest thing in the world um but i was like but emotionally i support you because i was like when me and joe started jk 99% of people thought we were the dumbest motherfuckers ever. So logically, it doesn't make any sense. And now 100% of them do. 100% <laughs> yeah. think we're talking about it. Congrats, by the way. Yeah. <laughs> you moved the needle. Yeah, so I told them, I was like, so if you believe in this, if you believe in this and this is like, what is your life's purpose? I was like, don't let, don't let anyone stop you. Don't even let me stop you. So in that regard, I support you. Mm. So he was like, okay, cool. He's gonna go, he went to go do what he needed to do. And then the way that like, and also as an Asian dad, he's always harping on, oh, you should have a second kid, you know? Or like, and they, they always paint all these dreams of like, oh, I wanna hang out with Taika and do all this. So when he ended his own life, I'm like, bro, like all the requests you wanted where you're like, I would love to see Taika get married one day, or I wanna see a second kid. I'm like, how the fuck are you gonna see any of that shit? Mm -hmm. You know, I'm like, that's yeah. so like, so I was actually really pissed uh, the first week 
And then the second week, I think as you're trying to like, when, when you have questions, then you try to like put yourself in their place and try to like understand like what is going on. Then I think the empathy comes in more. And I'm like, damn, I, my dad must have been in a really, really bad place for him to um, feel like he ran out of options and he had to do it the way he did, you know? Yeah. So I was like, so now I, I'm in a, um, what you call like a more empathetic and not so mad. And just like, well, if that's the way he felt like he had to end his pain, then that's, I just, I respect it. That's big. That's honestly big. Yeah. yeah. And it's less painful for you if you could see it that way, mm -hmm. I think. Just understanding his own story and how his stubbornness got him there. But it's also, he didn't see other options because he didn't accept other options too. How is your mom doing? So my mom's actually in Vegas right now. Um, she's like super religious. So she had to do like a whole month of religious practices. And, to cleanse out him? Huh? To cleanse him out or something or? Yeah, to like cleanse him out or cleanse yeah. the house or whatever. And then so right after my mom's, I really need, like every Thursday <coughs> through Sunday, my mom's been staying at a hotel. Cause she wow. would just feel like. Like the Luxor or some shit? No, 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 I mean back back in LA. Oh, okay. Yeah, she'd be staying at a hotel. Just at the Bally's? It's like at the park MGM. Yeah, cause her, ha her house has- I'm just so curious, you know, which one? Cause her house has such bad energy, you know? Yeah, that's what I was thinking, is she's probably gonna wanna sell that spot. So after the, I, I wanna move her out way sooner, but she just has to do her ceremony, so like, I support you, whatever. So now she's um, in Vegas right now. Like, Living with you guys? Yeah, she's been there for like a week, and uh, Gio says that she seems like way happier right now. Really? Uh, yeah, which is, because I think she's not reminded by yeah. constant oh, yeah, things. Yeah. There's no yeah. triggers everywhere. And she's with new energy. Is she planning on selling that place and getting something? Oh yeah, she's gonna, she doesn't know where to move to yet, but she's gonna sell it for sure. I had a, I just being in this room for so many years, as like when I found out about it, you know, and just trying to like process through it in my own brain and like accept it or whatever, I immediately had a thought of, I heard Joe's voice too, of him finding out about what happened to your dad, and then Joe being like, man, why couldn't that happen to my dad? <laughs> <laughs> it's so true. It just, it, it's so true. It brought me, it, it honestly brought me so much light just thinking about Joe oh saying that. Oh my God. God. <laughs> <Man>. <laughs> <laughs> Flips the table. <laughs> oh man! <laughs>